On today's What's in the Box, Fistful of Meeples. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lee with Geek City USA here, and today we are going to uh, take a look inside a fistful of meeples. Now, this is Final Frontier Games. This actually came with my Kickstarter copy of Coloma. Um, I mean, it didn't come with it. I actually purchased it separate, but it's a two to four player Mancala style worker placement where you're picking up your workers, and instead of only activating the last one or whatever, or the place you pick them up from, you activate each space that you drop them off on. Now, why am I going to show you the front of the box, when, or that little bit of the box, when I can just open it up and we can take a look at it uh, inside here. So let's dig in. This is a nice small box. This is a game that, uh, this is 30 minutes, which is, uh, seems like one of those nice fun th fillers. I mean, Mancala style games are fun. Uh, I, I enjoy them anyway, uh, if they're done right anyway, I should say. New game smell. Oh, what, is, what is that business? Okay, anyway. So let's start by, these are the building tiles. So uh, as you go around the board, you're gonna be, you have the ability to build buildings. And I think these are what give you like different points as the game goes on. Let's see how these punch out. These are for your duels. And they punch out pretty well. Um, decent size thickness. I mean, this is like an average, average thickness game. Um, feels like a good quality. Yeah, these punch out really, really easily. So nice. All right, and then here's so it looks like you have like a like a a gray or cream color and a dark blue player, and then you have an orange and a um, and a green. Okay, so you striped on one side, solid on the other. All right, and here is our rule book: rules of conduct. What? Oh no! Those sound like rules that you don't want to follow. So here you have it. You have the different uh, different characters. Game setup, player setup, gameplay. I don't think this is gonna to be too complex. I mean, when I watched, um, I noticed when I was traveling, Rado did a playthrough on this and it looked very, um, you know, short and sweet. Made sense, easy to pick up. I really questioned whether I would even need to read this. We were contemplating a, a game to play. And look at this, it's so it's so cute and small. It's like the size of my phone. Well, a little bit, a little bit smaller, or rather a little bit bigger than my phone. Look at that. So there you have it. That is the board. Uh, are we flipped around? Are we right side up. So here is the. Here, I'll bring it up a little bit. I could always zoom in, but here is where when your workers die. This looks like the dynamite. So as um, is this as you break people out of prison or something, and then you're gonna put the gold here. You could change in your uh, gold cubes for gold squares for more points, and then this was the saloon. So you see each action, each location, those little building tiles had different uh, costs to build. But anyway, I'm getting into the to the weeds on how the game plays, but really uh, it's pretty cool the way it's like a top down, you feel like you're looking at an old pioneer town, which is the idea. And here we have cutting edge, never seen before in games, wooden squares. Now these are your resources, your gold, your dynamite, and here's your gold bricks. Um, so yeah, I mean, pretty, pretty standard, but hey, you know, that's, you don't need anything fancy. And here are the workers or the characters. Now you have, let's see if I can remember this. This here is the, um, I don't know what they call her. She works in the, in the saloon. And here you have your builders, uh, your miners maybe? And then you have your deputies and your bandits or your bad guys. So. Not uh, not too different. They look to be the same workers from Coloma. So, you know, keeping the theme, I think this is technically the third game in the series, you know. And then here is a bag because you are going to be drawing your cubes out of a bag. And you get two dice that are, eh, run of the mill. Nothing, nothing special about the dice. I don't, even, I don't even remember where there's dice rolling in the game. But anyway, that is, that is it. That is short and sweet. This little box with a, a cool game concept to me. It's, sounds good anyway, so we'll see. We'll get some time, uh, some game footage of it for you. But here we go, Fistful of Meeples by Final Frontier Games. Johnny Pack, Art by the Miko. Uh, there you have it. What is this? Uh, two to four players. So, all right. Well, guys, thanks for hanging out. I'm Lee with Geek City USA. Be sure to subscribe if you don't already. Like the video if you like it. And interact with us on social media. We'll see you next time, guys. Cheers.